While there is no mandatory ban so far in Carmel, officials say the city currently has an adequate water supply as a result of its long-term water master plan. It's 24 wells and four treatment plants, but officials are asking people to voluntarily conserve water. They say the treatment plants are operating at levels never seen before. While well, the drought means bare produce shelves for area food banks and soup kitchens. Farmers often donate some of their crops to those who feed the hungry in our community. But as RTV6 reporter Chance Walser shows us, because of this year's weather, they just have nothing to give. We're, well, we're down to the last three uh, water barrels. Michael Tamadoni and his friend are tending to their plot at one of the many Indianapolis community gardens. Since the start of summer, the dry weather has forced them to spend much more time and add much more water than they planned just to keep their tomatoes and corn alive. Since we've been out here, you know, I think this spot has maybe gotten real rain once. And, you know, other than that, it's just been bone dry. That's bad news for some area community kitchens who count on fresh produce donations to help feed those in need. Local produce is very important for a lot of reasons. We support, um, they support us from a local perspective, um, and there's nothing fresher than a pepper from a fresh garden. Uh, the leaves aren't regrowing as quickly. They're getting burned. Um, I mean, you can see this. I mean, that's just from, that's just from, that's heat. Right now, if you ask local produce farmer Matthew Josie, there might be nothing drier than his vegetables. Josie makes his living by growing a variety of vegetables and selling them locally. He usually donates the extra produce to Second Helpings Community Kitchen, but not this year. I, I would love to be able to um, be in a position to give more. Um, the, you know, comparable to other years. But he can't because this year's historic drought is barely producing enough for him to sustain his business. I feel like I've moved past the point of frustration. It's just a little bit absurd at this point. I figure I'll just make it through this year and if that, if I can do that, that, that'll be fine. Chance Walser, RTV6.